What happens when a submarine goes too deep and exceeds crush depth? On April 10, 1963, the Thresher set off on a routine deep dive test, accompanied by the submarine rescue ship USS Skylark. Their mission was to conduct deep ocean tests at around 1,300 feet below the surface. At 9.02 a.m., Thresher radioed Skylark. We are at test depth, conducting checks. Minutes later, a second transmission comes through, but it's distorted. Experiencing minor difficulties. Have positive up angle. Attempting to blow. The Thresher was trying to surface. The crew attempted to blow the ballast tanks, but something was very wrong. Instead of going towards the surface, the sub began to sink downwards. Another transmission came through to the Skylark. Three words were clearly understood. Uh, exceeding test depth. The crew had lost control and were unable to ascend, falling towards the ocean floor over 8,000 feet down. 16 minutes after the first transmission, the USS Skylark detected a noise characteristic of an underwater implosion. At about 2,000 feet, the sub had exceeded crush depth and imploded. The wreck of the USS Thresher was found on the ocean floor 8,400 feet below the surface. A lot of the data surrounding this event is still classified to this day, but the leading theory revolves around a pipe failure that led to a series of other catastrophic failures, resulting in a submarine flooding and being unable to surface.